navigate to AWS and we're going to use AWS today to store our images and create a URL file that we can add to our database. So I'll go ahead and go in here. If you haven't created an account, create a free one. What we're doing today should not cost you anything at all unless you add a large amount of data. So don't be too worried about that. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and sign into the console. Once you guys are signed in, navigate to console home here. Once you're here, what you want to do is navigate to what's called S3. And this is simply scalable storage in the cloud. Click on this. And then once we get here, you guys can see that it says general purpose buckets. What we want to do is create a new bucket and you can see um, I already have one created down here. But for us, we're going to create a new one. I'm going to call this vid dash picks and then scroll down here. We don't want to block public access because this is not anything we're worried about security. It's just images. And then down here at the bottom, we just want to create our bucket. Now you guys can see we have the vid picks bucket here. Go ahead and click on that. And we're going to select upload. And what we want to do is add files. And now I'm simply going to select the pictures that I want to add to this bucket in AWS. I'll select three for now. And you guys will see that it shows your three files here or however many you added. And then we can go ahead and hit upload. And this will go ahead and take a second to upload. Now up here, we can navigate back to our vid pics bucket. And you guys will see that all three of the pictures that we want are added here. From here, navigate to permissions. We want to navigate down here, make sure block all public access is off and underneath bucket policy, select edit. We want to add the following code with our version and statement. Again, this will be in the source code. But here for our resource, what we want to do is change products dash Kalman web to the name of our bucket, which is vid dash picks and once we're there we can go ahead and select save changes down below and you guys will see our code is displaying in AWS here tap here for more